Hello everybody, welcome to the FTCR LP of Sonic Mania. I am FTA and I'm joined by Smoothies, Games Enlisted, Sega Sky and David T. Lurker. Here it is boys, the best Sonic game ever made except Steven hates it. I'm, I'm very confused by this music right now. Is that what I hear? It's a, it's a meme edit. <laughs> the much better song. So, uh, Tyson has, out the bat, boys, Tyson has animation. I, I know Steven was like, he didn't like the fact that the first 20 seconds was just everyone standing in an AM elevator. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> well, the, the elevator is a very important part of the Sonic mythos, right? Because... <laughs> right? That's why they stayed on it for 20 seconds. <laughs> well, yeah, because that's, that's what the original Sonic team had to stand in going up Can't to do that. The corporate office, the CEO, they had to stand in there. Uh, I'm sure this is going somewhere. I've got nothing. <laughs> uh, Sonic CD intro, still better, because at least in the Sonic CD intro, you can do everything in the game that you can do in that intro. Uh, no, not, not really. entirely. Not really. <laughs> I don't remember you smashing can. through a giant rock and spinning up the top of a mountain. You smashed through a giant rock in Green Hill Zone. That happened before you Sonic CD. You rolled through it. You didn't jump up into it. There's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> He's got you there, Steven. <laughs> oh, sorry. He was going sideways instead of up. <laughs> <laughs> Direction's very important in a Sonic game. Yeah, so who wants to talk? <laughs> the, 60, the 60 frames a second bastard. I like video games. Where'd the menu go? Skipped it. I resent the fact that the island you're on is not fucking Sonic shaped. And this intro, aside from the fact that I love that Tails has his OVA hat and goggles, I mean, this just comes off like like the video game version of fan fiction. They go to Angel Island again, and they get stopped in the same place as Knuckles got them again. It's kind of uh, it's kind of lazy, boys. Well, I mean, don't you ever go to the same store again to buy the same food or product no. again? Uh, no. I see what you did. I never go to the same store. Skylar, the difference is though, I don't, I don't then sell that adventure as, as a brand new video game to fans of a 25-year franchise. I, I saw, I saw what you did there. You saw nothing, saw Stefan. There too. Wait a minute. You saw nothing. What? You, you, you died. I did. I died on the first fucking thing. <laughs> I will say it doesn't it do, it doesn't excuse it, but um, for anyone who was listening to the last podcast we did, it uh, I think we kind of make a vague reference to the fact that I, I'm recording footage, and I was recording this as we were doing the podcast. So half the time, uh, I'm gonna have right off the bat. I my gameplay is pretty shit in this because through most of the recording, I was trying to have a conversation with Chris and TJ, and I, I did pretend I liked them, which I'm glad they're not here today. <laughs> And why would you socialize instead of playing video games? Because because my parents said I should. I should socialize, try and get some friends. So we should we should say right off the bat, um, because uh, Skylar is a paid shill, of course. Skylar is the one who helped in uh, kind of helped introduce this game to the world, and he is pretty friendly with uh, most of the people who or a lot of people who worked on this game. So he is under contract with Sega to not say anything negative about this game ever. Uh, I was just gonna say, hey, full disclosure, I'm gonna be a little bit biased on this one, but yeah, let's go with that one. Skylar's biased, and Steven just hates everything about this game. I don't hate everything, but I certainly don't like these special stages. What? What? Well, these are one of the things I love special about Special stages are incredible. Well, that's one of the things I hate about you, Stefan. <laughs> oh. You hate a lot of things about me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would was, I was say about these, I, I love the idea of these special stages. I think it's a great idea on paper. I, I think the execution is not as good as it could slash should have been. I think, I think you know, it, it's clear they obviously went for a, you know, Sonic R style racer, but Sonic R controlled like shit. And, and mm. I, I would have preferred they actually had something control good rather than, you know, kind of purposely having a control stiffly to be like, you know, reference, LOL, Sonic R. I think, I think Sonic R's controls is better than these special stages. But... I don't feel like this controls like Sonic R. I feel like it controls a lot better. I feel like Sonic R is good. <laughs> <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> 
I feel like battle lines are being drawn here in part one. It, it controls stiff, but it doesn't control like Sonic R. You're right, it doesn't control stiff. It controls way too loosely. He feels like he's running on ice the whole time. That's right, I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Amon, 2017, he said it. I mean, you were all thinking it. <laughs> and here we find two death egg robots tied together like nunchucks. <laughs> so yeah, but the special stages, they bother, they bother me because they're, they're asking you to do way too many things. Fill up your blue meter, fill up your yellow meter, try to navigate a space. Also, everything's made of ice. Try to, yeah, it's, stop, stop it. My, my thing with the special stage, it, it's kind of like a lot of, of the mentality for this game. And on the whole, I think this game's really good. Um, but I think the special stage, it's kind of like, it's instead of being its own unique thing, they kind of just merge a bunch of the previous special stages together. So it's like, it, it, it kind of looks slash controls like a 3D version of um, the Sonic CD special stage. You have to collect blue spheres, like, uh, you know, the Sonic 3 special stage, which I think makes the inclusion of blue sphere kind of redundant at the same time, and you have to collect yeah. rings and shit like previous ones, but that's uh, that's just me. At least not the half pipe. It is definitely right, there is no half pipe in there at all. Nowhere to be seen. No, I mean, the, the special stage is a lot of different ideas glued together. Like you said, the, the CD, the the R, the the spheres, and, and the, a little bit of the chaotix rings. Oh, yeah, chaotix, okay, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Remember? <laughs> Look. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think maybe one, one of the goals, I feel, of Mania in general is kind of to reintroduce the idea of classic Sonic and that gameplay. So if the special stages were too far off from what we've seen beforehand, it it might have thrown off people a lot more than something that is slightly familiar but also slightly different. Like if it was well, yeah. Well, I don't hate these special stages. I think there's a lot of potential for them. Make the control good. Start with that. <laughs> Um, maybe not have me fill up two meters, because I feel like that's asking for too much. Just have me fill up one. I mean, we could go back to the to the um, the concept of uh, what they did with other special stages, just just needing to get rings. In fact, I think I think it was better when when we were just collecting rings in special stages. Back in my day, all we had to do was collect rings to get those darn emeralds. <laughs> back in my day, we. I think the idea works. I think the idea works because the rings are used as your timer, so it and the. I disagree. <laughs> uh, the blue sphere, the blue spheres are just used to make you go faster. So really, if you want, you could, you can prioritize like one over the other. But you need to do both, and <laughs> that's it's frustrating. You need to do both, but you can also prioritize one over the other at certain points. So it's like your first lap, you can go like I want to get all blue spheres, and then your second lap, you can go for all the rings. I would have. I would have. I mean, I get. I, I get what, what what Steven is saying. Maybe something where you just collect rings, but but you naturally get faster, like say blue spheres, versus rather than having to fill up a, a blue gauge, maybe. Yeah. Well, one one thing that I like about Sonic Three and Knuckles is that you collect blue spheres and that to get the uh, the Chaos Emeralds, but uh, the rings were sort of like a bonus. Like, hey, oh, you got a perfect. Here's more points. Another continue. Like, I like that. I like that purpose for the rings. I think it works. It's optional. You don't have to. You don't. Have, you don't have to collect both. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, guys. If it. I I th I, th I think I do. I think I do. That's cool. I'm sorry, but the the, the fact that the uh, the fire shield can destroy the uh, bridge. Like, there there are there are a bunch of small touches. Yeah. Which is just like that's fucking brilliant. Like that's such a good idea. Yeah, I like that too. We didn't mention. Okay, yes, because no one's talked yet. The oh, there's a thing up there. <laughs> no one has talked yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no one has talked yet about the the backgrounds because this is the first technically new background, even though. It is a loving recreation of the original Green Hill Zone background that was featured in the Tokyo Toy Show demo in 1990 when Sonic the Hedgehog was first introduced to the world in a Japanese show that Americans had no idea was happening at the time. See, this is why we bring David to these LPs. He knows this really obscure shit none of us cares to memorize. Oh, but, but I mean, like, that background evokes the origins of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, and, and, and like the first time I saw that, I got very, very excited. 
Well, I mean, I would say like this. This. I mean, again, I like this game. Uh, I. I don't think this game is is perfect or, or everything I'd hoped for. Like some fans probably like Skylar. Uh, say it is, but I think that there is there is no team I would have preferred to have made this other than you know Taxman and Stealth in that group because those guys those guys know this franchise inside and out probably more so than anyone. So you know they they they, they were in very very capable hands. I just wish I mean like, like everyone else says a bit more a bit more like original levels rather than you know the, the ratio of two thirds redone levels. Even though some of the redone ones like that wasn't their fault. Like oh no yeah you know from from what from what's been from what's been uh, said on you know I I think even Azuka at one point was like you know we wanted to do old levels to make the game longer it's like what have you but again it's levels like Chemical Plant Chemical Plant Act Two is one of my favorite levels in, in any Sonic game ever like that is they're working that is so fucking good and that was a pathetically easy death egg robot this game's terrible I hate it <laughs> well I would say it's a perfect game but I do find it very very good I'd say. It's in the conversation, at the, at least in the conversation with three and knuckles. I would I would still rank three and knuckles above this, but in terms of the classics, this is probably my second favorite, tied with two. Tied with two. Uh, two, two. I will say though, tied with two, that is pure nostalgia talking, because that was the first Sonic game I ever played. So that is like pretty nice. I love I love the sixty frames animation of him doing that, of Eggman doing that shit. Oh man, like that whole cutscene is great. All the sprite work in this game, mm -hmm. the the smooth animation, especially this bit. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I wish there was more of them. I got so I got so upset when uh, like halfway through the game they just stopped doing them, and I'm like, Aw, yeah, I mean, it's, why? it's it's something like, and again, it's a it's a very very small thing, which in, in the grand scheme of the game doesn't really make make a big difference. But it, it is odd. I, I kind of would have preferred even none of them, or all, like, either none of them have it, or all of them do. Like, yeah, the fact that halfway through the game it's just like fade to black, fade in, especially when you get. When like you're you're changing, you're going from level to level in just in terms of the geography of of Sonic. Like you're going from like Little Planet to like the Floating Islands. Like how the fuck did, does he get there? Well, are you saying that in real life you've never been somewhere, had a few too many drinks, you faded to black and woke up where you had no <laughs> idea how you got there? Come on. So Sonic's Sonic's doing that every three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> only only uh, too many games, David, with you. What? <laughs> oh man, I wasn't even I, there. I remember that and, well. I, I don't know and, what you're and, and then we went to get all get KFC. <laughs> oh no! And, and I had to, and I had to go watch over him because you guys left. <laughs> I had to be that was babysitter. fine. Every, everything was fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> you were not fine. I was completely sober that entire time. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, so Stephen, have you, I've, Stephen, have, have you been able to, to get all the chaos symbols, or did you, did you like give up after a few? Oh no, I stopped playing the game at Hydro, Hydro City. Oh really? I, oh, I almost okay. said Hydrocity. Then we had to kill you. Yeah, I would be very upset. Um, Gareth, I am very glad that I didn't pay for this game. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that, that's a story that maybe we'll probably can't play to be. We'll yeah. bring it up later. <laughs> uh, we still we do, is there like a contractual obligation for us to make a review? I think I think there is some kind of video I need to do, which I'll try and get out at some point. Maybe or maybe, maybe you should because you didn't even finish the game. <laughs> yeah, we'll do yeah, we'll do something. But again. So again, what do they ever want to, you know, think about the fact that the first two levels in Mania are just the first two levels from Gents? Oh yeah. Yeah. They are. Yeah. It, it's. It is a little odd, but I guess at the same time, when you think about, oh, what what are two iconic levels in one and two? You're kind of stuck in this place where. What's well, like? What's like? With, with one, it's like, yes, you know, they're, they're, unfortunately they're going to be forced to use Green Hill forever. I don't like it, and after this game, after this and Forces, I never want to fucking see Green Hill again. But two, I would argue two has a, has way more, like, Mystic Cave. I would, have, I, would have, I would have happily taken Mystic Cave. You know, Mystic Cave is a fucking fun level. Mystic, Mystic Cave is great, but to be fair, it isn't really what you would call an iconic level. I would. At least in comparison to the ones like... Don't put words in my mouth, like... you shit. 
Yeah, and if they didn't have Chemical Plant, you wouldn't have this bit in it. And this bit <laughs> is something that was sorely lacking in Generations. One thing that yeah. infuriated me mm. in Sonic Generations was that, oh, here's the blocks. Oh, they're the easiest blocks in the world. Two seconds, you're done. <laughs> I was so mad. I wanted to die. Were you really? Were you really? <laughs> I wanted to die. <laughs> I wa- Did you really want the wonky hit detection? Yeah, David. I, David, I would also argue one thing that Generations does better is it doesn't have that fucking one frame death kill. Where if, if you like slightly touch the edge of a block, you instantly die. Oh. That is that is some shit. Where I kind of feel like Taxman and crew were kind of being too faithful to the originals. Because even in the originals, that shit was bullshit. I want to talk about that. Please do. Yeah, that hap- that happened to me <laughs> so many times in this game where he just. Stefan, yeah. Stephen, Gosh. Stephen has the floor. <laughs> yeah, this you said it. I mean, you said it perfectly. This game is too faithful to the uh, to the original things. I think if you have something in the old games that people don't like, don't include them in this. Uh, don't don't include things where people are not going to have a good time. I think that's I think that I think that would have been a really good uh, mission statement to have going into this game. And uh, they didn't do that. Um, I, I mean, I would have been perfectly happy with an entire level full of Carnival Night Barrels, so... <laughs> <laughs> Why wasn't that the final boss of this game? <laughs> so, so, I mean, guess, I guess, Sky, in, in that regard, because you and David are the most retro fans of, of the two of us, what, did, what do you feel in, in comparison to some of the kind of more annoying aspects of the classics being painfully recreated in Mania? Good question. I wasn't prepared for that. Yeah, I was. I was hoping they would chime in, but they didn't. So thank you for queuing them, Gareth. <laughs> <laughs> I, Stephen, I've been doing OPs for a long time. I know how to set shit up. Right, and you're saying that even though I just said I wanted to die more in generations. So I don't know what you were expecting from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm hoping Skylar is slightly saner than you are, and also Chemical Plant Act Two, one of T. Lopes' best tracks in the entire game. So fucking good. It is really good. This whole soundtrack is pretty amazing. I just got the vinyl in the mail today, actually, as of this recording. Nice. So yeah, so Scott Sky, would you have? Uh, are there a few things like the you know the uh, chemical plant block of deaths that you would have preferred not being recreated, or are you okay with because you're like it was in the classics, may as well be in this game? Oh no, I love the blocks of death. Haha. Oh man, DNA. Oh, yeah. You disappoint me, Skylar. Good. Just another I, day. I will say, <laughs> I mean, no, I, I get I get what you're saying. There are moments I feel like in in this game where sometimes it's more sensitive than in the original and I Well yeah, because they didn't learn their lesson. <laughs> so, yeah it is. Yeah. yeah, but I if it was a choice between having like having it sensitive but the blocks are there, but or them going, well, we, we realize it's a bit too much, so we're getting rid of them. I would rather have the blocks there because it's such an integral part. I mean, especially in Chemical Plant. Like, I'm sure you could have done this level without those blocks. It would have been weird, but I don't know how many people would have complained that they were missing. But. Well, you can have the blocks, you just fix the hit detection. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, which I, I, I think it's more the hit detection versus the blocks themselves. Like I said that the blocks are such an integral part of Chemical Plant. You kind of, they kind of need to be there, at least in some fashion. Well, I feel like the hit detection, and it is a little more sensitive in this game than it was in the originals, but I feel like that's just more of a retro engine thing. And if they wanted to fix that, they would probably have to overhaul the entire engine for that. Well, they wouldn't have to overhaul the engine. They could just rearrange the blocks, put them in a different order, and then they wouldn't have that problem. But then they wouldn't be the same blocks. Because <laughs> I think even in the uh, the Sonic 2 mobile port that Taxman and Stealth did, it was a bit more sensitive than in the original game. So it's just something that's been there for a while. So what you're saying is that Taxman and Stealth have been ruining Sonic 2 for like four years now. Good to know. No, 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 no. I thought Sonic 2 was ruined because... Uh, Sega said, hey, could you not work on this game? JK, actually, we need it, so you have two months less time to make it. Oh, really? Let's see the inside scoop there, folks. Well, well, I thought he was talking about the original. Yeah, I was talking about the original game, not the text. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought yeah. 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 No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I was like, oh, okay. I was, I, was jo- I was saying that it was ruined in 1992. I made a joke. Yeah, you're not going to get your hashtag scoops that easily. Right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> First, that TSSC is ruined now. You're not going to buy your hashtag Frito Scoops here. 
tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about the competition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yeah yeah that was uh that, that was that's that's a good story there's a, a mark cerny interview which gets into detail about how at first sega of america said no we hate sonic and then they were also like oh yeah don't make sonic 2 yet jk we need it for christmas 92 and uh it's, it's a good story well, I mean, with, 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 something, with something like that, I mean, maybe, I mean, I think the same thing kind of ha- maybe happened with SA2, but you would think because the foundation of Sonic 1 was there, it would have, in general, just would have made things easier, because you already have a, a basic framework to start with. Yeah, but I think I think Sonic 1 had more development time than Sonic 2, though. Oh, yeah, probably, because, you know, I, I, I'm sure they had to figure out, you know, how Sonic moves, their leg, what, what is core cool level design should be, the fact right. that you already have that, so, somewhat, you know, somewhat mastered in one, I, you know, I would maybe, I, I have never developed the game, I'm probably talking out my ass, I would just assume that if you have the basics there, you may not need as much time for a sequel. Yeah, well, let's see, I, I think they had, what, 14 months to work on Sonic 1, and I, I think they didn't, it was not even 11 months to work on the sequel. And when you're talking about how ambitious they wanted to get it first with the, you know, the, the time travel mechanic and the different, like all the, all that stuff that Yasuhara. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's how you, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Did you get all the medals? This is important. I, I did. I did. But I would uh, finish your comment. David, then I have something I want to say about Blue Sphere. Oh, okay. I also have something I want to say. Oh, boy. No, I was just... Oh, this boss! I love it! Sorry, I got very... <laughs> First time I saw this well, boss... You know, you know what? Actually, David, also quickly, but a quick aside about this. Yeah. Funny idea. Uh-huh. You know, f- very funny idea. Completely fucking breaks the pace of the game. And I think after, after like, your second go, it's just dull as fuck to play. We're getting really good idea, but it's like... Eh, I think it's, like, it's one of those... One of those... Uh, there are a handful of moments in Mania where it's like you can tell the makers are like this would be really funny for the fans but if you have no idea what the fuck Mean Bean Machine is or Puyo Puyo in general this will make no fucking sense to you at all to be fair it doesn't go by like it's really, it's very short yes but it could it could have been even shorter it could have like lasted for like five seconds where you're like what the fuck do I do and then it just like blows up or something you know it would have been better if it, if it wasn't like necessary to actually beat it Get a lot of these scrubs. They can't play Puyo Puyo. And it's really easy too. <laughs> I'm just. Saying. That, that's not why I play a Sonic game for. I played it to fucking hit Robotnik, not fucking do a puzzle game against him. Are you saying you didn't buy me and Bean Machine because uh, Doctor Robotnik's face is on it? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking did. When I was a kid, I rented I rented Mean Bean Machine, and I worst five dollars of my allowance I ever spent. <laughs> five dollars, oh. get out of here! But for some reason, you love Kirby's Avalanche. It's so weird. Because Kirby's a complete prick in that game, it's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry, David, go back to um, like they're talking about Sonic 2. Oh, oh right, right, yeah. Because uh, uh, Yasuharo, you know, he, ha- he had that talk a few months back and he was been putting things up on Twitter. Uh, it, you could tell that it was, it was very ambitious what they were trying to do. Which is why I kind of look at Sonic 3 as Sonic 2 done right, almost. Because... At that point, because uh, because they definitely had a lot of time to work on Sonic Three, since they split it in half, and a lot of the ideas and concepts in Sonic Two are fleshed out in Three. So the fact they only had eleven months to make the sequel to, the, to a game that took fourteen months, it's amazing that it's as good as it is. Especially uh, adding in the fact that there was the cultural divide. You have a Japanese team and an American team, and the Americans don't know Japanese, well, and the Japanese are all not necessarily. Re- like there's yeah there's definitely like a weird divide not to the point where they want to kill each other but there isn't as much as there isn't the same communication that was in the in the original team because they were all kind of from the same place they also they also got a lot of the the heavy work out of the way uh why is this happening it's Um, it's it's canoxels so they got a lot of the heavy work out of the way though because yuji naka was having a oh (laughs) <laughs> Yuji Naka was having a very hard time just trying to get the the game to run as fast as it was. So they already got a lot of like the, that grunt technical shit out of the way. So I think it makes sense that they were able to make more game with Sonic Two because they already had an engine. You yeah. Know? Same, same with SA Two. SA Two was made in like a, a like half the time SA One was. 
Yeah, but does that say two better than us? No, one? it's not. Good point. That's a total piece of shit. <laughs> okay, everyone, we'll see you on, we'll see Damn you on part two. I have so many thoughts I have to hold on to till the next part. <laughs> you better remember them for a whole week.